Disney's been using artificial intelligence for over a decade, but there's a reason you haven't heard much about it. It's more like Area 51, and we've done a really good job of making sure that people don't understand what's happening inside of this building. And for a company that thrives based off public perception, it's strange that Disney hasn't loudly proclaimed their use of AI. But that silence is actually purposeful. And in this video, we'll go over the technology that Disney has been using to improve guest experiences subtly through AI, and why they might not want you to know about it. To succeed in entertainment, you have to know your audience, maybe better than the audience knows themselves. What I mean is, if you let your audience dictate what you create, you might end up creating something that the audience doesn't even like. Maybe in theory the idea works, but in practice people find out they don't really like what they thought they would like. Pre-AI, Disney would need to sample an audience using focus groups. Then, based off what the people in those groups said, they could estimate the reaction they would get from larger audiences. But that's inherently a flawed process unless you get an enormous sample size from all over the world. So Disney began changing this process with AI, developing and exploring tools with effective AI. Effective AI is designed to detect and analyze human emotional states based off people's facial expressions, body movements, and eye movements. Researchers from Disney Research use infrared cameras to record subtle movements from people watching movies. They analyzed over 3,000 people and then based off 16 million facial landmarks and expressions, Disney starts to get a better idea about what their audiences are bored by, what they're interested in, or what they can't stop looking at. Then writers at Disney can use that info to change an aspect of a character or stretch or even scratch an entire movie idea. And many of Disney's shows have been very successful since they started using this artificial intelligence. Whether you like these shows or not, there are 2021 original Disney Plus shows, WandaVision, Falcon, Loki, Hawkeye, and The Book of Boba Fett all got over 3 billion minutes of total viewing, which is a ton. So AI is changing what we watch with Disney, but they're also using it in a more immersive way as well. Now, it's a fact that Disney gets way more visitors than Universal, but with Disney prices continuing to increase, along with Universal's new Epic Universe Park opening in 2025, competition between Universal and Disney is intensifying. Universal now has attractions with new tech based on franchises like Super Nintendo, Harry Potter, or How to Train Your Dragon. And that new tech could draw visitors away from Disney especially those who are more price conscious or looking for newer experiences. So Disney has begun to incorporate new technologies in their own parks. 20 years after Universal introduced the Spider-Man ride, Disney released their own version at California Adventures. Web Slingers takes guests through a journey where Peter Parker trains them and equips them with their own superpower. Basically during the ride, spider bots go crazy and Peter Parker equips you with your own web so that you could destroy those bots. But there's no wearable tech. Well. 3D glasses, but that doesn't count. But using four infrared cameras on each side of the ride's vehicle, they assess a guest's movement 60 times per second. Using AI, machine learning, and computer vision, they track a guest's eye position, shoulders, elbows, and wrists to shoot webs at those spider bots. And without a doubt, this is one of just many rides that Disney will be using artificial intelligence to enhance. But why haven't you heard about it? Why is Disney keeping it a secret? While some might think Disney doesn't want to broadcast their tech developments to maintain a competitive edge, their competition would be able to repeat whatever they do fairly quickly. The most important reason why Disney doesn't broadcast its uses of artificial intelligence is because it is inherently against its mission. Walt Disney always believed that tech should enhance the experience at Disneyland, not overshadow it. So it's not the focal point, it's just the thing that props up the magic of the experience. And that's supported by their current view today, where story is king. If you found this video interesting and you'd like to see more on corporate tech in the future, please consider subscribing. This is Tyler Dutchover. Thanks for watching.